Hi, now we turn our attention to 13.4, number 28, and here we're only intending to present a plan of attack or to describe how you can solve the problem rather than going through all the computational details. So the problem asks, a batter hits a baseball three feet above the ground toward the center field fence. So let's draw our picture. So the baseball starts off at a height of three feet and it's hit toward the center field fence which is some distance away and the fence is 10 feet high so we can put that in here and the distance from home plate is 400 feet and the ball leaves the bat with a speed of 115 feet per second so we can draw in our velocity vector. It's 115 feet per second. And at an angle of 50 degrees above the horizontal. And we want to know, does the baseball clear the fence? Is it a home run? And even though, you know, in the Air Force we're not really that concerned about calculating trajectories of baseballs, the equations, the parametric equations that describe the motion of baseballs are very similar to the parametric equations that they describe the motion of projectiles that are important to the Air Force. All right, so the basic idea here, or let's go ahead, our plan, is we want to use the parametric equations of motion to determine if the baseball clears the fence. So we want to express y of t in terms of the velocity or well, the magnitude of the velocity, the angle, and time and the acceleration of gravity, which in English units, which we're using, is 32 feet per second squared. And then we want to express x of t in terms of the velocity, the angle, and time. And of course, the horizontal, the x equation of motion is independent of the acceleration of gravity because gravity only acts in the vertical direction. And then once we have uh, x of t and y of t, we can graph x of t and y of t, and we can do this in any grapher that uh, can graph parametric equations. Uh, MATLAB is a suitable choice, but there are others. Uh, CalcTool will do it as well. I think it's CalcTool 1 or CalcTool 2 that does the parametric equations. And then once we graph it, we simply inspect the graph and we ask ourselves the question and we look at the graph to figure it out. Is y of t greater than 10 feet when x of t is equal to 400 feet? And that would be a graphical approach. Now, suppose you're a little technology shy, or, or maybe you want to know, well, how would I do this in a circumstance where technology wasn't available? What you would do is you would use the horizontal equation of motion to find out at what time the ball had traveled 400 feet. And then you would plug that time into the y equation of motion, and you would say, OK, how high is the ball from the ground? when it's traveled 400 feet at that time. So you plug that time into the y equation and that would be uh, give you your solution. If y is greater than 10 feet, when x is at 400, then the ball cleared the fence.